everybody, Dirty Dan here. So, today we're gonna show you, um, if you didn't see the live stream, I'll show you all the cool stuff that I picked up at the train show. And I need to make um, an apology to Max, Max's Hobby Productions, um, about the train show and what's been going on, if you guys haven't noticed. But first, let's do the train show stuff. Um, I picked up three Locos here, Speed of 76, a Mark's Engine, an RS3, some Tyco cars, you know, um, five for uh, five, uh, I forget. I forget. I think it was like five for something. Five, yeah, five for twenty. I think. Um, that was this was not part of anything. A uh, bunch of thick wire. I don't. This was just thrown in, and I don't. I don't have any use for it. I got a boxed Golden Eagle. I think I got like twenty bucks for this. It was pretty nice. Um, I got it from my buddy Mike. Um, you got a Southern Pacific Shark Nose engine. Um, this is pretty cool. I think I paid 10 bucks for this. I don't exactly remember, but it's pretty cool. Um, then I got, this was one of the best things I got at the train show. This little pony, I think it's called. It's a little shifter. And it's pretty, da it's pretty cool. Um, I don't see, I've never seen one of these before. I mean, I've seen pictures of them, but I've never seen one in person. And I think the guy wanted like five bucks for it. So I really couldn't say no to that. Um, ignore the leaf blower. My dad is up on my roof blowing leaf, uh, leaves out of the gutters. So, yeah. Anyways. Uh, I got this super cool U-boat, I think. I think it, that's what it's called. I don't know. I got it for five bucks, though. So, that was a thing. Um, I got a Tyco Tender Drive. Another piece to the puzzle. I have three left before I have them all. Um, the Santa Fe. I have the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, but not, not the Santa Fe. Um, I got Gerber's car, Clementine car, um, and then I got this box. Ignore the, um, ignore the box, the, the artwork, but what is a surprise, what is inside is a total surprise. This box was three dollars, and I don't know what any of this is, but... I spotted it, and I happened to think it was pretty cool, and I thought whatever was in it must be kind of rare. It's got this weird, this is a weird plastic box car. This is, I've never seen anything like this. It's, it's all plastic. And it's got these funky couplers. I don't, I don't even think this stuff is HO. And then you got this caboose, and then this, this box car is a little different. It's got some metal trucks. I don't think this is HO. I don't know what this is. Oh, wait, it says something. I can't read it. My camera won't focus. Western Germany. Okay, well, that's a little interesting. Here is a little uh, frame. It's, got a, it's a motor for one of these engines. I think it's the switcher. Um, it's missing wheels, though, so it doesn't work. And then you got a bunch of this weird, funky track. It's so, it's like Mark's track. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, but there's a bunch of it. And then inside you got, I think this is an NW2 switcher. Um, it's a little unique. I don't know exactly what it, what it's up and what, what, what it's from. It says Western Germany on it, so it's a mystery to me. But I'm sure somebody in my comments will know what it is. But then you have this. I don't even know what this is. But yeah, I got all that stuff. Next thing I got, I got this little booster. Cool little engine. Um, I got a Tyco, another Tyco Virginian, um, 430, with the caboose. That's what I needed. Then we have a really old Tyco bobber caboose. This is when they still put Tyco right on the side of their things, when they were very proud to advertise. But anyways, um, then we have one of the rarest things that I got. An American Railroad's passenger car. Now, anyone who knows anything about River Rossi and anything about Nickel Plate Road and stuff, you know how rare this car is. Um, honestly, 
I've had a few people, like, they already want to buy this. But no, it's going on my shelf right next to my American Railroad's GG1. Nobody is ever getting this passenger car. Sorry, anyone who wants to buy it. Nope. But basically, it's, it's pretty rare. Then we have, oh gosh, another damn diesel Chattanooga. This is like my fifth one, I think. I don't, it's, why did I buy one? Anyways, let me show you some of the other stuff I got. This box, I don't, I'll take the lid off, but you can't really see what's inside. There's a few sets. Um, I got this box for $5. There's a box of track. Um, there's two train sets, a Tyco Virginian train set, and then a lifelike train set. I believe the lifelike set is kind of rare. I don't know, but I, I really couldn't resist a giant box for $5. <laughs> and then, um, let me lift this up. I need two hands. This box, I've always seen it at these train shows, and I've always bought stuff out of it. And you know what? This time, I just, I just said to the guy, you know what? Will you sell the whole damn box? And he's like, sure, go ahead. And I'm like, what will you take for it? And he's like, 40 bucks. And I'm like, deal. I got all this stuff in this box. There's got to be at least 30 engines in here. Um, and you'll see on the top a few uh, nice things. Um, but yeah, I really couldn't turn that down. Then we get on to the most, the, one of the greatest things I got at the, the train show. I bought a brand new inbox Tyco set. Of course I did. Um, it was 40, it was 40 bucks. Um, I really can't, that's, that's pretty good. I really, I really couldn't say no to that. And it has some cars in there that I don't have. The Gulf Tanker and that. But the only thing is I probably won't run it. As you know, I like to keep my things mint, uh, mint, um, just to keep it nice. That'll accent that set very nicely. So, anyways, that about wraps it up for the haul. Now, here is what I need to discuss about Max's Hobby Productions. I was wrong, and, you know, I really should have tried to, I wish I could have understood why you didn't want to meet up at the train show before. Um, I'm really sorry for anything I said. I, I really didn't mean to be, I really didn't mean to be such a D-word. If you, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm really sorry that things didn't work out. If I would have known that that was the reason why you couldn't talk to me in the first place, I would have just been okay with it. But, unfortunately, things don't always go perfectly, and I'm very sorry for all the stuff that has happened because of me not understanding what you were trying to say. So, I'm really sorry, Max. Um, but on that note, I'll have to end the video. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed. Um, Max, I hope you uh, can accept my apology. And, um, yeah, guys, I'll see you next time when we probably are going to start working on some of the things in my drawers. Um, I've been finishing a lot of projects. I'm going to clean this today, cleaning that, cleaning, I'm cleaning all of this today. I'm going to fix all of that, so I need to sp free up some space. So, anyways, people, I will see you next time. Dirty Dan out.